weeks. First, I had I got signed, which was an amazing feeling. And then we were training and just getting ready for the debut. And then we got the call that we were going to be on April 8th. And I was like, all right. I'm, I was excited. And they're like, main card. And I'm like, what? And, and it took me a couple minutes to kind of process that. But I am so excited. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed to be here. I think she seems to be getting a, a, a lot of buzz because of the training camp that the, the people that she works with. Does that give you an opportunity to play spoiler, or, or is everybody kind of over, overlooking you in this one and looking at her? I don't know if they're so much overlooking me. I just don't think people know about me yet, and, and I'm here to show. I'm here to show that I deserve to be here and, and be labeled and titled as one of the best girls in the world. Where is she most dangerous to you? Break, break, her, uh, break her game down for us. I think that she looked very comfortable in her last fight, that's what I saw, and I love that she was so composed and, and really was able to um, uh, capitalize on her opponent's mistakes. She looked great on the ground, she looked great in, in, in the wrestling, and even in that scramble, she looked great. So I think that she has good grappling, I do, and I think that she, uh, above that she has great composure. What doesn't she know about you? What are you going to bring to the table that is going to throw her off her game and surprise her? I think that I'm prepared everywhere and, and uh, you know early on in my career I was known as a grappler but today I am well rounded and I am prepared for every situation whether it be good, bad, dangerous, scary, you know, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for every everywhere this fight will go. I would love a knockout. That would be fun. I'd also love maybe, you know, a couple of cuts and make it a bloody fight. That'd be really fun too.